Hello, this is Mr. David T. I'm Zobacut. And this is our review of the McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat Spawn action figure. And he is a 7 inch scale figure to go in line with the other figures from Mortal Kombat. But I figured with the new lines that they'd eventually make another spawn. And I'm glad they did because this is awesome. This is what I really wanted. Because they came out with the Color Top spawn a few years ago, and he was basically just like some of the older spawns, where he was just a, a basically a statue, pretending to be a figure, which it looks cool. It's a really cool looking figure, and I bought lots of them old spawn figures and love them, and I like this one too. But I wanted an articulated one, like a super articulated one. They did make one a long time ago, but it, it was the spawn 10th anniversary action figure. But I never had that one, and I really don't know why I didn't have that one. I mean, it's possible that there was times when the Spawn figures came out after years and years. I, I was kind of going in and out of getting toys. A lot of it had to do with having money and not having money. So maybe that was the only time where I just didn't have the money. I don't know. That seems like a figure I'd definitely get, but for some reason I never got it. And looking at pictures of it now, I kind of forgot about it. It just, he looks pretty cool. If I had that one, I'd definitely compare it, and I think it would give this new one a run for its money. I'd say if someone argued that that one was better than this new one, I don't know that I could disagree because it looks so awesome. But unfortunately, he's very difficult to get now. But this one looks super cool and it's articulated. Yeah, it uh, I'm really happy they made this, and I could see why it's really hard to get because. This is freaking amazing. Yeah. And um I like the box too. Like I usually I don't care about boxes, but sometimes it just adds a little bit to the excitement of getting it. Cause I kept seeing people post this with the bright green background. I'm like, oh I gotta get that. Yeah, I was gonna say I really like that they made the, the inside bright green. Yeah. And I mean it's and brings that, out his eyes. Even though I'm just gonna throw this packaging away, it's just a cool thing about getting it. Mm -hmm. It's like you got it. You got the bright green packaging with the with the spawn figure. That, that it does make it more exciting to open a toy when it has a really cool box. Yeah, even if it's not one I'm gonna keep like this mm -hmm. one. But uh, there's a nice picture on the side. Nice picture on the back. Twenty two moving parts. Just more combat symbol. And opening on top. Well, let's open him up. So there he is, opened up. And he is really, really cool. He is so detailed. Like, I could have seen them just making his, uh, the, the black parts just kind of plain and smooth, like most Spawn figures, but it made it really detailed. And that's kind of how he looks in the video game, Mortal Kombat. And it reminds me of the movie version, where he has detail all over his suit, which is really cool. I like them both ways. I like I like this super detailed version, and I like it when he's just like kind of black. I think it looks yeah. cool both ways. Mm -hmm. Now the, the the black thing does kind of bring up one gripe that I have with him that I noticed. His head is almost black, and the rest of his body is like a dark gray. It's different shade, and I don't know why. In the pictures on the package, it's all the same. It almost all looks black, but for some reason, this is a lighter shade than that. I was going to say that too, like that's the one thing I noticed right off the bat is I do wish he was a little bit darker on the body, yeah. but I mean it's not that huge. No. It's I'm, just a little bit darker. I, I'm i probably going to paint it. Lots of times I say I'm going to paint a figure and I never do, but I probably will paint him a little darker because I just think he should be. But still, even if I didn't, I think it looks really cool. Even with his head mismatched color, I, I think it looks really cool. The sculpt on it is awesome. I love the sculpt on the face. And these white parts are actually sculpted. They're not just painted. Mm. His eyes really stand out. The green with the black around them. It looks really cool. I've always really liked Spawn's, like, aesthetic. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what else to call it. But, like, I like the big cape and the spiky stuff and the black yeah. suit and the things on his eyes. I always thought he was pretty cool looking. Mm. And he's very 90s, and uh, I always thought, like, uh, I don't know what Todd McFarlane's inspiration was, but he was working on Spider-Man and Marvel and Venom, and 
I always kind of thought he was maybe just to take on like a, maybe he was trying to draw a crazy version of Spider-Man or something and just made came up with this guy. I don't know, but that's just what I always thought. It's maybe that's how he kind of came up with him. And Batman. Yeah. He's kind of like Venom and Batman and Ghost Rider mixed together. <laughs> yeah. And Spider-Man. Yeah. But that's cool. That's a very 90s thing to do is just take all the cool stuff and put it all in one thing. And then he's got his demonic cape and his demonic spikes and demonic chains and then his demonic pouches. <laughs> That's a very 90s thing, it's just stick pouches on there. He's got all these demonic stuff, and then pouches. What, what is he keeping in there? I don't know. Why does he need those? What is this supernatural, like, crazy guy? <laughs> Why does he have pouches? Maybe he keeps Twinkies in there in case he gets hungry. Yeah. Now, Spawn does occasionally use guns. I remember the original reason, I don't know if it's still the same reason, but the original reason he used his guns because his power was limited. It was like, there was actually a countdown for a while. Every time he used his power... Like a cooldown? No. Period? No, it, he had like so much power, and if he used some of it, it was gone. He didn't get it back. Yeah. And it was counting down, and like at some point he'd be down to zero and have no power left. So he was using guns to conserve it. But from what I could... I didn't... After a while I quit reading Spawn, because I just got kind of bored with it. And I'm not sh I, th so I think they some point stopped that countdown thing, so I don't know whatever happened with that. But uh, could be why he has pouches. There could be ammunition in there, magazines, clips, something. You know what I just noticed? What? That red strap around his foot. It's a different shade of red than everything else. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> why? It's like a brighter red. <laughs> That's, That's so weird. You must have had Steve. Steve Billy Bob. <laughs> <laughs> they had they had Steve from accounting do that part. Yeah. <laughs> when he was all done, all the artists went home and they realized that wasn't painted. So they had Steve from accounting come down and paint that strap on his foot and he <laughs> fucked it up. Yep. <laughs> Wrong color, Steve. <laughs> Another thing crazy about Spawn related characters was the giant boot. And it's not just Spawn. Spawn was the main one who had this giant boot that would be very impractical. And just thinking of walking if you had this giant heavy thing on one leg. It'd be very annoying to walk. But there was multiple characters that had these kind of things. And lots of them had them on both feet. And it's just an odd thing. I mean, it's, I'm not saying I don't like it on this. I mean, it's Spawn. I, it's kind of cool looking, but it's also like, why? Yeah. <laughs> it just seems like it would really, like, even with your like foot hitting the ground and ankle, it'd be really not good. <laughs> Very impractical to walk. <laughs> now I'm picturing him walking around and he's like, tunk, 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 tunk. <laughs> Just like dragging his foot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like when you put your foot down, your heel wouldn't hit. Back of this would hit. And it's just like, that's just not good. But I guess you could just say he's so super strong that he don't even notice. He probably has like a really bad chafe line around the top of that where it attaches to his yeah. leg. <laughs> oh, he, he did make... What a deal with the devil, so maybe as part of his punishment is he has to deal with this big clunky <laughs> leg just to annoy the shit out of him constantly. <laughs> like, not only are you burned up and your wife married your friend, but also you got this thing stuck to your leg. <laughs> this figure is from the Mortal Kombat game and he has this sword in the game. I'm guessing he must have this in the comics at some point, but he didn't have it when I read it. And it's got the little spawn symbol on it. That's a cool looking sword. And I like the way they did his cape. Real crazy looking. Although I think they went a little overboard in the shading right there. <laughs> but still. That is a cool cape. Yeah. I like how layered it looks. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. And I, I do hope, after seeing this figure, I hope they make some more Spawn characters. Like with the articulation and everything. Alternate versions of Spawn and some of the other main characters like Violator and Clown. They're the same character, but... Dude, how cool would it be to have a little Mandarin Spawn that was actually oh, poseable? I want that so much. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. And we'd have to buy like six six of them and paint them like all the different versions. <laughs> I hope they make that a That would be Mandarin so spawn. fucking cool though. I like how they did it on the chains here. They got the little spikes. 
I mean, I'm guessing they're just basing it on the design from the, the game. But I like that. I like the little spikes on a chain. That's really cool. I'm guessing they're probably going to do different versions of this because there's, uh, I know there's a, a more classic colored spawn skin in that Mortal Kombat game. And I'll probably make that one. Just take this one and paint it the alternate colors. But I guess we'll go over articulation since it's really cool to have an articulated spawn figure. I mean, like I said, even back in the 90s version, or I guess it's probably been into the 2000s, once they came out with the articulation version, they did make one that was articulated, a couple with... They've made definite advancements in articulated toys in the last how many years? Yeah. But his head, we round, it's on a ball joint. A little limited to the, going to the side because of his cape. Then at the shoulders, goes up like that. Oh, there's actually an extra hinge in there, I didn't even notice. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's different for McFarlane. Make sure that little piece goes in and out. And spin there at the bicep. Double joint at the elbow, although these things kind of hit. Spin at the wrist. Enter the hinge. Then the torso. Articulation really good, but it sucks that it makes the lines not match up anymore when you move them. Then... Not really much they can do about that. No. Then at the waist, some articulation there. And then the hips, you can do a split. Kick out like that. Go back like that. Can't really twist. And this is where I wish there was a thigh cut. I say that on all these McFarlane videos. This is, there should be a thigh cut. Damn it. How hard is it to just put a cut there? Yeah, it would, really? it would help out with poses, because like you could when you do that you can twist it so his leg would be going that way, but you, not much you can do. And it's like it doesn't mess up the sculpt, it's just a line. Yeah. <sighs> oh well. And a double jointed knee. Which is really good. <laughs> that looks funny. <laughs> yeah. That looks like my knees. <laughs> Then there's a hinge there at his ankle, and it spin around and tilt. Then there's even toe articulation. Can you move the, the toes on that a bit? What does that look like? Yeah, they got that going up inside there, so you can still <laughs> move it around. Although, if he puts his foot out like there, he's going to step on his foot like, ah! <laughs> step <laughs> on his toe. He's got his toes off? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just picturing, I just want to see it like this. <laughs> That's how he carries the boot. He has to like lift it up with his whole foot. Yeah. <laughs> so this articulation is really good. I, I always complain about that thigh cut. But it's just a little pet peeve, I guess, of mine. Yeah. But still, other than that, it is really well articulated. Recording this video is making me think about something that I don't like. I keep talking about back in the 90s. Just made me think about the fact that 1990 was 30 fucking years ago. <laughs> How the fuck did that happen? Yeah. I always think of Spawn as like a new character. It's like, it's not nope. like Spider-Man or Superman or Batman. This is a new character. He's only been around for like 30 years. Yeah. Which, I mean, in a way, it's new compared to them. Yeah. But not really. He's an old guy now. <laughs> Guess I should mention that he comes with the base of Mortal Kombat. Yeah, right. Okay, we mentioned it. Goodbye. <laughs> There's some of the other McFarland Mortal Kombat 11 figures. Johnny Cage, Sub-Zero, and Scorpion. I don't have them all because I didn't get Raiden. Because he just his costume looks ridiculous and I don't like it. And also there's alternate versions of Sub-Zero and Scorpion which I don't really care about. But so far, these are the ones that have been made. And they all look pretty cool. I have to say that... I don't like Johnny Cage, but I think that figure's fucking amazing. <laughs> I love his glossy, shiny jacket. He looks good. Yeah, he does. Like, the other two are cool too, but I'm more surprised by how much I like him. I hope they make some more. I hope they make some... Well, they probably don't have the rights to make some of the other downloadable characters like Spawn. Because mm -hmm. they got like horror characters and NECA's probably got the rights. If they can, I hope they make some more of them. Yeah. And here is the last... Well, not the last, because they had the Commando spawn, but the last regular spawn that was created, the Color Tops version, that came out a few years ago by McFarlane. 
Which is really cool, the design and everything. I like the way his cape is and everything. Personally, I like his design, his look better. But I really wish we had an articulated version of him. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I really like like the crazy cape and he's much more spiky and I don't know. Yeah. Come more I do spikes. like his look better. He's just I wish he was articulated. Yeah. <laughs> he has a little bit of articulation, like at the elbow and this elbow. I can wiggle my arm a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> his head looks tiny compared to that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, his chain is going crazy, which I like. I definitely prefer the articulated one. Cause I just got so many Spawn like it McFarlane made so many of these statue figures, which I like. They're some of my favorite figures of the statues figure, but it's always like I want it really cool McFarlane spawn that looks like this but be articulated. And this is kind of what this is. Well that's, well, that's what I'm saying is I, I do like the articulated one better because he's articulated, but if there was one that looked like that one and that was articulated, that would be my favorite. Yeah. Because I like the look a little bit better. <clears throat> But he is basically a statue. Oh. Yeah. Really fucking cool statue. <laughs> the head and body match. You can see the paint match it looks exactly the same. It doesn't look mismatched like this one. I do like the way they did the white part on, on the design on there better than this one. Mm-hmm. And I like that it's kind of like a bone color instead of just white. I don't then, know. I just kind of like that. He's got a few more pouches. Belt pouches instead of the chain. I like, really like oh, that, this leg. That just made me think. This that would hurt having like he's got like barbed wire chain yeah. around his waist. Like, yeah, I'd just care. be hurting myself constantly. <laughs> so there he is next to the very first spawn figure. He's a little bit shorter, and he had a lot less articulation. <laughs> this cape is kind of ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they're doing a Kickstarter right now to remake this spawn similar to this one with articulation added and everything and what they've shown so far looks pretty cool and I kind of hope they do it but it's kind of expensive to to do it it's like forty dollars I think you gotta pay but it looks pretty nice and here he is next to this spawn which is basically the same suit with just minor differences but you can see the overall design is the same it's got the big giant boot and spiky pointy thing sticking out of his right arm this one had a little more articulation than the original spawn figures, but not by much. <laughs> like they added some elbow joints and still was very limited articulation. Are his eyes just like black holes? No, they're supposed to, they are, but there's a light up feature which I doubt works anymore. <laughs> okay. <They go laughs> he looks green. a little weird. <laughs> I was wrong. The eyes still do light up after all these years. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very surprised. I didn't think they were going to. Yeah. But it was annoying is you gotta lift his arm up to do it. So he puts his arm down, his eyes turn off. And the one the thing that was kinda cool about this was he can his wings expand or cape, I guess. His cape kinda turned into wings, but when when they're down they look pretty bad. So it's Yeah. <laughs> and the chains are terrible. Yeah, those chains look like shit. Lots of the spawn figures came with real chain and this one they gave these giant goofy looking plastic chains. So here's the new spawn next to most of the spawns that I had. Like these are just the, the ones that are supposed to be a version of spawn. Not like I got tons of other spawn figures that are like like Violator and Clown and Redeemer and all them guys. But these are just the ones that are supposed to be some version of spawn. Some of these I would really like to be remade with new articulation. Especially Mandarin spawn, that would be the main one. And here's spawn next to Violator. Probably his most famous enemy. This violator is made from the movie. One thing about the Spawn figures from the 90s that I want to mention is they were extremely influential to action figures. Because most of them were like about three and three quarter inches, or they were usually small. McFarlane came along, made the Spawn figures, and made them bigger. That's one of the main things he wanted to say, was they wanted to make them like six or seven inches. And then lots of other companies like Marvel and DC started copying and other lines and making them more detailed. And that kind of got me back into figures because I was kind of like not into them that much. I was selling all my old toys to pay for video games. I remember I sold off all my Star Wars, my Thundercats, 
I gave away my Ninja Turtles. I was just kind of getting sick of toys. And then the Spawn figures started coming out. And the other McFarlane lines that they were making. And I was like, oh, I like toys again. <laughs> and then other companies started doing the similar things. And I got back into toys. So I really have a lot of um, credit to my toy collecting -ness to Spawn mm -hmm. figures. <laughs> Well, getting them to make bigger figures is definitely a good influence. Good job. Yes. <laughs> bigger is better, in my opinion. Yep. So, I really like this figure. Um, like I said, my main gripe is just that his head paint, the black it's like black, and then his body is a different shade, and it's very noticeable. But I don't know if that's on everybody's, but it's definitely on this one. And I'm, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to make them match. I, I agree with that sentiment. And I also like that one foot strap that's a different color. I just find that more funny than anything. <laughs> it's that one. one little piece that's a different color. <laughs> I don't think I would, would even notice that until you said <laughs> I didn't notice it until you turned him sideways and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I love the detail on this. And especially of the articulation with all them statue-like figures from the 90s. Which were cool in their own way. But they were, it always bother me they were just statues and I wanted more articulation and this has got it really good articulation on this and even with the cape like lots of figures with heavy plastic capes fall backwards and he stands up pretty good it might be because of his big fat foot mm -hmm. but he still stands up good this sword's even really cool yeah I like it so I do hope they make more spawn figures with articulation we'll buy all of them probably <laughs> I, think, I still think it's funny, like, every time we go, we have a store around here, I don't know if it's how far spread they are, but a store called The Exchange, where they have a lot of older figures that get traded. And every time we're there, I'm walking around looking at all the Spawn figures, and, like, I have to check and see if we already have them. <laughs> because you have so many that I can't remember <laughs> which yeah. ones you have. There's just so many I know, of there's them. there's many times we went there, and you're like, ooh, that figure's pretty cool. You got that one? I'm like, yep, I got that one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I bought most of the ones that I thought were really cool. I didn't buy all of them, but the ones I thought were really cool I bought. We have gotten a few new ones, even recently. Yeah, some that I didn't have. But they're notorious for breaking. I have lots of them old Spa Fingers figures that broke. One of my favorite Spawn figures is the trash guy. Yeah, he's pretty This is a big old pile of garbage. It's called the, <laughs> the Heap. That's a good name. <laughs> What's funny with my... I am the, the heap. But anyway, I like this figure a lot. Um, just just the paint on the the head and body is the only thing that bugs me. But the detail and sculpt and articulation is really good. Yeah, he's cool. Well, that's Mr. Chief. And I'm the bucket. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I have fought someone like you before. Oh, you mean in the Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe game? Yeah, I, I guess. Did, did he have, like, bat ears? As a matter of fact, he did. Ooh! I'm being compared to Batman. Finally, after all these years. Some guy sees me, and he, and then, and then, and then he's like, You remind me of Batman. Uh, I feel like, I feel like I made it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. I can't believe it. I'm a legit superhero. Uh, finally. Thank you. Uh, what? Friendship. Friendship? Awkward! Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Ooh!